Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with kissandlog.com. Today, we're sitting here with Rigo again. I'm gonna send it back, I gotta send it back. Uh, I'm working this week, just got home from work. So I'm gonna send it Friday, today's Tuesday. <laughs> Lose track, they all blend together. Anyway, I wanna show you a special function on this before I send it back because I don't know if I've ever seen it on another scope. I want you guys, Tell me if you've seen that. For instance, the segment, the competitor to this, have you guys seen this function? They have a waterfall, they have more. It's really cool. Let's come over to the bench. I'm gonna show you this. So essentially what we're gonna show you is, you know, these scopes with deep memory, which even the last video I did, scopes under, what was that, $400? Um, which Unity I chose as the best. I still think it competes with this one, actually. Anyway, so it's a really good scope. Both great scopes. All right, guys, so deep memory. We've heard about segmented memory. That's where, let's say that you have a transient that might occur, and maybe it's gonna occur every one second, every few seconds, and it's gonna be a small transient. Well, you can't, even with this deep memory, you can't just hit, you know, trigger, have it trigger on the first event, and then it's gonna capture all of this stuff, and then a couple of seconds later, capture this other thing, and then you can zoom in on each one and look at it. I mean, that'd be super impressive. Maybe the Pico could do it, no. <laughs> anyway, um, with super deep memory, maybe, you know, it just starts getting crazy, right? So they came up with segmented memory. Since they have such deep memory, they're like, well, let's use it wisely. What if you do have a, an occasion like that where things happen every once in a while and you want to capture each one and you don't care the stuff in between. It's kind of like, you know, Amazon delivering stuff at your door. Your camera goes on every time. You don't want it to go on all the time and go through all that stuff to see, you know, when somebody does come to your door, right? So same kind of thing. So segmented memory. It'll sit there and trigger, record something, record again, record again until it fills up the memory. And then you have all these segments, all these, you know, pieces of memory, right? Well, this guy has a special feature where let's say you're looking away for him and then something happens, but you just want to put them on top of each other, maybe like, you know, you probably can't see it from there, but maybe you have four waveforms on top of each other, okay? And if you look at them like that, you go, okay, there's, you know, so many waveforms, I can see them, so many waveforms, so many waveforms. And you can look at them all in one snapshot of your eyes, just sitting there looking and go, whoa, something's happening there. Well, there's different ways to view that. And that's what they've done. They've come up with five different ways. Yeah, I think it's five different ways that you can see that. So I'm gonna come over and show you that, okay? All right, guys, real quick, before I bring you over to the bench, I got this power supply, it's 33 volts right now, it's putting out about 108 watts, okay? This is a generator that's doing that. And here's a class D amplifier. So I've got a current probe from the mix sig coming into the Rigel. Yeah, mix sig and Rigel, they get along just fine. They're happy together. So we're working together here and Let's come over to the bench, take a closer look, see what. So we're going to look at the current on the output um, of this Class D amplifier going to these resistors that are getting kind of toasty warm, which is good because it's chilly in my lab, which makes touchscreen a little bit more tough. <laughs> Have to do that. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the power supply over here. Put power here down here and let's come down here okay we're gonna come down here's the generator okay we're gonna put that signal in we got the amplifier right here both lights are on that's a good sign and here is the scope so let's zoom in so you can see okay i'm gonna zoom in i think that's good enough you don't that's you'll be able to hit, see me hit the knobs i guess all right so here we go. So what we're gonna do, we got the sine wave coming in, right? Okay, we're gonna come to the menu 
and normal average peak. Oh, what the heck? What's ultra acquire? Let's check it out. Okay, you can already see some waveforms back here. So I've selected five. You can go here, punch in. I just put in five. I'll change it to six. I'll change it to seven. Let's see if that works. Okay, and then I'm going to say one second. I already did that. I changed it to one second. And here it is, display mode. You got all these display modes. Right now it's on waterfall. Look, it's a waterfall. It's just does the one sine wave, then the next and next. And what's cool about this is it shows if you would see or detect anything that's amiss, right? You'd see a spike or something wrong. And it's a cool way to look at a whole bunch of waveforms on one screen versus, you know, just line after line and you're just watching. Now you can see them all together. It's kind of messy. So let's hear it. Let's go to this. Let's go. Oh, that's 67. Holy cow. No wonder. Let's go to five. There we go. Okay, there's five waveforms, waterfall. I had 67 before. So look at this. But even if you go 10, you go more and more. So it, it draws one, then it draws the next, then it draws the next, and next, and next. So it's got five. Before we had 67 in here, right? So look at that. They're all the same. Okay, what else we got? We got waterfall. Up at the top, we have adjacent. See, now they're next to each other. So that frequency has been multiplied five times. Now it looks like five times the frequency. So they're just all next to each other. So if you saw something different, you'd go, oh, look, there's something wrong right there. But it looks like a continuous sine wave. So it looks like everything's going perfect. If every fifth one we saw like a weird amplitude, we'd go, whoa, you know, okay, something's happening. Okay, what else? So we got adjacent. Here's over. Uh oh, here's overlay. My fat finger keeps in water. Look, it puts them on top of each other. So five times it went through. I could do a hundred, and we could see if they're all perfect, right? So let's just try that for fun. Let's go five hundred. Looks like the same sine wave. So it looks like that's a pretty darn good generator. It's putting out a really good sine wave. Okay, let's go, what else we got? Okay, we have the waterfall thing. What does waterfall look like with 500? Look at that. Now, it drew some, it stopped because I set one second. So it's doing one second worth one second, one second. So that's that was this one second thing I set, okay? So here, let's go, whoops, here. Instead of waterfall, let's go perspective. What's perspective? Look at that. So it's drawing a sine wave and the next one a little bit off, a little bit off until you get this thing like this. But look how perfect those rows look. So that shows 500 waveforms looks pretty darn good. I don't see, you know, so especially on a bigger screen, if you use the the HDMI connector on back, you, you could you put it on a bigger screen to get a better look at that, right? Okay, we got one more mosaic. Whoops. I keep fat fingering. Plus, it's kind of cold in my lab, guys. So, okay, now it's going to try to do 500. Now it does those, and it's going to scroll. And so, yeah, you can only see so many on screen, but you can see how everyone looks the same. So it's different ways to do the same thing, right? You're, you're inspecting waveforms to see if there's variations, and there's different ways to do it. So I just wanted to show you guys what the Rigo DHO 800 series can do because I think that's a really cool feature and I talked about it briefly in my review and when I first saw the waterfall honestly guys I thought it was talking about waterfall in respect to the spectrum the FFT but it's not it's it's talking about this so I just wanted to show you that to clear that up but this is super cool all right, guys, so what do you think? Do you like it? Pretty impressive, huh? I think it's pretty impressive. Uh, two big thumbs up to Rigo for sending this out to me. Got to return it. Just want to do one more video. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, have you seen this feature on other scopes? If so, what scope? How much does this scope cost? Uh, have you seen it on the Sigma, the competitor of this? 
I haven't seen the manual, so I don't think so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Guys, and two big thumbs up to my patrons and YouTube members. And Danny being a team member on my YouTube channel. And if anybody said that super thank you button down there recently. Oh, I think Danny did. Thanks so much. Uh, hey, guys. I appreciate you watching. Freeway to support channel is just like the video. Subscribe. I need more subscribers this year. Let's, let's get this channel going. Okay? What do you guys think? Let me know. Thanks for watching.